Well, some South Carolina prosecutors believe public confidence in the state's judiciary is waning and say something has got to be done to try and turn that around. State Attorney General Alan Wilson is among those who are urging South Carolina to revamp the way our state picks judges. State House reporter Mary Green explains what else Wilson is hoping to accomplish. South Carolina is one of two states where the legislature elects judges. And while the state's three co-equal branches of government are supposed to operate under a series of checks and balances on each other, Attorney General Alan Wilson says his branch, the executive, is left out of this process. Right now, we're not at the same table with the legislature. We're not even at the kids' table. We're outside with our face pressed to the glass. Wilson's recommendations focus on this group, the Judicial Merit Selection Commission, or JMSC. It annually screens judicial candidates, determines who's qualified, and advances up to three candidates for each seat to the General Assembly for its elections. The 10-member JMSC is predominantly made up of lawmakers, who are typically also lawyers. Among Wilson's recommendations, he believes lawyer legislators should not be able to serve on the screening panel, an appeal also made by several South Carolina solicitors. Their reasoning is that the current system produces, at the very least, a perception of unfairness, if not actual impropriety, because the lawmakers who screen and later select judges could later appear before them in court as attorneys. Wilson believes the governor, the head of the state's executive branch, should be able to appoint most, if not all, members of the JMSC. Right now, the governor doesn't appoint any. We want to be an equal partner in how judges that go through the JMSC are selected. Representative Micah Kasky, a lawyer who chairs the judicial screening panel and also sits on a House committee studying judicial reform, questions if that would actually be an improvement. I'm saying that if a legislator who serves on JMSC is tarnished with the appearance or potential appearance of a conflict of interest, that that same appearance or actual conflict of interest would attach to an appointee who practices law. Wilson says this switch would bring statewide accountability to the process instead of through lawmakers who only represent the people within their districts. Everyone gets to vote for the governor. And if there is an inappropriate or perceived conflict of interest by a gubernatorial appointment exercising their authority as a member of the JMSC as an attorney appearing before the judges, people can go directly to the governor. And that committee studying judicial reform will have to submit its recommendations by next February when the General Assembly is back here in session. Reporting from the State House, I'm Mary Green. The changes that Wilson recommends would need legislative approval, the Attorney General told lawmakers. He is not advocating for a constitutional change, like moving to a system which the governor appoints judges or voters electing them.